Hey, good morning, my dear friends, and welcome to beautiful Surfside, California, right here at daybreak on this lovely Tuesday morning. It is absolutely beautiful down here, not a breath of wind. The sun is coming up. It's going to be another gorgeous day in Southern California. Man, is the fishing good or what? What a day on the Freedom yesterday. We'll talk about that huge score they had on the Dorado. Really great fishing going on. And remember, it was Mike Morrison, the great manager of 22nd Street Landing in San Pedro, California, USA, who was on the show just the other day talking about the amount of yellowfin tuna and Dorado being seen off our coast right here in the LA Orange County area. It's not only down in Northern Baja or San Diego, it's here too. It's not biting here quite yet, but hang on. The best is yet to come as it's going to be a great late summer and an incredible fall and it could push right through winter. We'll talk about all of that down south of the border, down around San Quentin, some great yellowtail fishing up there in Ensenada. We continue to have kelps offshore and really good inshore fishing. And of course, we've got our Independence Long Range Trip, a five-day trip that you are invited on October the 20th. Friedman Adventures is the sponsor of that great trip. I'll be there to shoot a video. That is going to be so much fun. We've got that and so much more. You know what time it is. It's time for the morning briefing. Good Tuesday morning. Ah, oh, so good. And it's so good to be with you all. Thank you so much for joining us and spending a little bit of time with me here on this Tuesday morning. For the morning briefing, I deeply appreciate it. Hit that like button, tick the bell. You'll be notified when there are special updates. We've been breaking in the last couple of days with news that you need to know. So tick the bell, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you share this video with someone you love or someone you hate for that matter. And man, I'll tell you, we continue to do a lot of updating on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. You can catch us there also throughout the day. Man, it's great to be with you. You know, yesterday we had lunch over at Birth 55, Long Beach Sport Fishing with my friend Pat Whitaker, his deckhand Fred, and my good friend Greg Bates. And it was one of those moments when I wish that I had a camera rolling because I had a claw from a Maine lobster. Pat was so generous and so nice to buy us all lunch yesterday. And they didn't give us, what do you call it, you know, the device that you open the claw, the claw with. So I'm like, how the hell do you get into this thing? And I gave it to Fred because he's as strong as an ox. He couldn't break into it. So, of course, I put it on the table inside the bar area where there were a few people dining. Right directly across from me is Greg Bates. And over on this side is Pat Whitaker. And I smashed that baby. And I was so proud when I saw that it had broken open. And I was able to access that delicious meat. But I looked across and Greg Bates had lobster and Whitaker had lobster on their face. I nailed him, man. That was one of my finest moments. No question about it. No camera rolling. That is really a shame. All right, let's get into it with you. First of all, don't forget, we have a little bit of room. A couple spots just opened up for a departure of September the 7th, fishing September the 8th on the Apollo out of Sea Forest Sport Fishing in San Diego. And that's going to be an absolutely great trip. It's an overnight trip, leaving at 10, back in the next day at 7. And that should be one fabulous trip with all of this tropical fish starting to move into the San Diego area, pushing up the Baja coast. It is looking really fantastic right now. You want to get on that one? 657-227-6459. That's going to go bye-bye fast. I think two spots available on that if you'd like to join us on that trip. October the 20th, on board the Independence. What a boat. What a crew. Great fishing. It's going to be a great five-day trip. $2,250. You need to go to independentsportfishing.com or give them a call. Say hi to Michelle for me and get on that trip. That's starting to book up and we just took over on the reins of that one. It's going to be a lot of fun and I can't wait to shoot a video, a five-day video on that trip. That's going to be a lot of fun. All right, south of the border, we mentioned San Quentin biting really well on the yellows. That's going on down there. Bay of LA, really great fishing there. Jolene Thompson will be heading down there pretty soon. Jolene is an outstanding lady angler. More importantly, she's a wonderful person and fishes a lot of Friedman Adventures trips. 
and we wish her the best of luck. More importantly, we'll get a great update when she's down there at Bola. That should be a lot of fun. Moving you up to Ensenada area, that is 70 miles south of the border. Easy drive from the Los Angeles area, about three and a half hours. And uh, down in that neck of the woods, you can see there at Blackfin Sport Fishing, some really good rock fishing. If you want to load up on fish taco material, it hasn't been a problem at all down there. Offshore, you find that right kelp patty, and you're likely to find some flatheads underneath those beautiful Dorado that are so acrobatic and so great to eat are starting to move up in mass. And look out, it's going to get really, really good. There's some yellowfin also offshore down there, and there's still some bluefin tuna hanging out. The moon phase has got those things a little bit squirrely right now out there on Tanner Bank and just about everywhere else. Having said that, then we see some weird catches like a bluefin up in the Channel Islands on the Aloha Spirit, a bluefin on the Half Day Boat Premier out of San Diego. So it is really kind of enigmatic to say the very least. And I think that light switch is going to pop on on the bluefin down south and for us up here. So keep your eyes on Ensenada. We like to look down there because of our friends down there, number one. And secondly, it's a preview of what's to come to the L.A. Orange County area, the San Diego area, and even the Channel Islands and above. I do have to mention the Fort Bragg albacore bite up there just above San Francisco. It is flat, incredible, and it's mostly 15 to 25-pound albies. It's beautiful fish up there. The Pacific Angler limiting out early in the morning. They had one small fish, I think, everything else, 15 to 25 pounds. Fort Bragg is on fire with long fins right now. So my prediction, I only missed by, you know, several hundred miles, and I still haven't given up. Maybe we'll see those fish show up here late in the year. Who knows? I still think we're going to get an albacore bite. That's how delusional and crazy I truly am. All right, let's get you to San Diego and talk about that bite because, man, it has just, like, switched. And the light switch is on on the Dorado. There's more yellowfin pushing into the area. It's that tropical time of the year that we had been telling you that we thought would manifest itself. And here it is. You find the right kelp, patty, and it's wide open Dorado. Now, remember, Dorado limits are two per angler in Mexican waters and 10 per angler in the United States, in United States waters. So sometimes you're fishing on the line, and if you're on this side of the line in the U.S., you can take 10. If you're on the other side, you can only take two. In either case, that's plenty of fish, and man, it has been red hot fishing. We've got to start with the freedom out of 22nd Street Landing in San Pedro, California, however, because they had a phenomenal day for an L.A. Orange County-based boat, and there's going to be more of this to come. They're out on a day and a half trip right now, and my fingers are crossed that Captain Trevor and Captain Gary are doing it again. They are doing a great job. Young kids running the freedom there out of 22nd Street. 165 flatheads yesterday, 165 on the Dorado, four yellowtail. They saw a kelp off in the distance, and when you see a kelp with Dorado jumping off of it, it is time to put the wood to the boat and get over there. Man, they got bent up big time, bent up big time on the flatheads out there. A lot of that 12 to 15 pound Dorado, 8 to 12 pound predominantly, some smaller, some bigger. Lost a striped marlin right next to the boat. So incredible fishing going on for the Freedom yesterday. Back down to San Diego. Let me give you some scores. The Old Glory, 68 yellowfin tuna. Here we go. Now that YFT is starting to push into the area. We have some small yellowfin tuna, 5, 8 pounders. We have some 25 to 40 pound yellowfin tuna. It seems like most of it is nice, great. So beautiful to see that starting to happen. Grande, 37 guys, 74 Dorado for limits, a yellowtail. San Diego, limits of Dorado, 32 guys, 66 on the Dorado, nine yellowtail. The Sea Watch with six yellowfin tuna, 52 Dorado, three yellowtail, 26 anglers on board. Wow, how can it get any better than that? It is rocking, it is rolling, and it is really good fishing down there. It's a fly line bait, 25 pound mono or fluoro. Should be just fine for you. I'm telling you that if you choose a good hot bait, you'll get bit. And 25 will give you plenty of pulling power on those Dorados. And more importantly, it'll get you a bit more. If you want to go up to the 40, 
on the Freedom. You can throw just about anything you wanted at them, as well as many of these scores down in San Diego. As that fish continues to flush in in mass, is it going to be a repeat of last year? That is hard to say, my friends. Last year was such an incredible Dorado year. We had fishing for a prolonged period of time for many, many boats, and every single day they were catching limits or near limits of Dorado. Phenomenal fishing. I don't know if we're headed toward that or not, but we're headed toward some really exceptional fall fishing. And normally the fall, and I'm talking about another month, is when you get all your great weather. There's not that much wind. Seas are calm. Let's hope it's that kind of year because we do have some weather still persisting and making things difficult, especially out there on Tanner Bay. So again, www.opsinusa.com. Those guys with their floral covering are fantastic. Put in FA at checkout and you'll get a free gift from owner Greg Brown. So keep that in mind. By the way, El Patron, 1.5 day trips out of 22nd Street Landing. They can get all over this Dorado. Great crew, fast boat, beautiful, comfortable ride. The El Patron, 22nd Street Landing in San Pedro, 310. 832-8304. You should jump on the El Patron. We'll be on there September the 15th. We're sold out, but it looks like that trip, a full day trip, leaves at 6 a.m., fishes till 6 p.m., could definitely be offshore. Could definitely be. It looks like it's going to be offshore. We'll see when we get closer to that day, but it has all the hallmarks of some fun offshore fishing. That boat is speedy. They can cover some ground if they want to. All right. Um, so really good offshore fishing if you're fishing that. We'll take in Tanner Bank now. And man, has it been tough out there. It just has not been biting at all. Those bluefin are off the bite. It's been very slow. We've seen some really slow multi-day trips out there. I mean, really slow, really, really slow. Okay, terrible on the bluefin tuna out there. And the weather's been up to just kind of pour a little salt in the wound. Now we've seen this before. Most of the time when I look at the moon, it's moon phase. We'll come out of it. It'll start biting again. It'll be full speed again. There was a few nighttime fish taken last night. Those are those bigger ones. You're fishing like a three to 400 gram, leaning toward the four because the weather remains up out there. And a 200 pound leader, you want to fish 100 pound spectra to 130 pound spectra. And a lot of that fish up over 100 pounds out there on Tanner Bank. So that is a great region. And it will rebound, but right now it's tough. Now, Cortez Bank, out in that neck of the woods where the weather remains up also, there's been some really good big yellowtail fishing. A lot of it on the fly line bait. That's probably the best way to do it. And uh, some yo-yo ironfish, some surface ironfish. There's been really good yellow action out there in that neck of the woods. Ed Mays. Ed, good morning to you, my friend. I got to meet Ed at 22nd Street Landing. Couldn't have been nicer. Thank you, Ed. It was really a pleasure to meet you. They took the Amigo out there recently on a bachelor trip for his brother. And while the catcher wasn't great, the camaraderie and the boat, the Amigo's a great rig, man. Uh, they had such a good time. And I got to meet Ed. I just want to say good morning to you, my friend. All right. Um, let's talk about the islands now. We'll start you down there. Todos Santos off Ensenada and tell you that there's decent mixed bag fishing there. Barracuda. A little bit of barracuda, some bass, rockfish, that kind of thing. Puna Banda, really good calico fishing. Been that way all year long for pongeros who want to focus on that. And then we take you over and check out the area up there around the Coronado Islands where there's still some yellows being taken there. There's even some bluefin bouncing around the islands. And you're going to see probably some yellowfin here. And there's Dorado nearby also. But if the islands themselves, 5 to 20 yellows. Per boat, the water's finally starting to recuperate. That yellow bite should come on. And then a mix of, you know, whitefish, sculpin, uh, calico bass, a few barracuda, that kind of a thing. Up at San Clemente Island, decent fishing at times out there. The Fury had 17 yellows. I was, I'm not sure if the Fury was on kelps or at SCI out of Dana Wharf sport fishing, but there's a little bit of that going on out there at Clemente with some decent yellowtail action and um, also calico bass fishing. Pretty Good, starting to wane a little bit. Um, we take a look at Catalina Island, few yellows, occasional sea bass, occasional halibut, picking at the rockfish for the most part at Cat. Nothing to write home about there. Santa Barbara Island, uh, I can tell you that a dive boat was out there and saw a lot of big grade bluefin tuna out 
toward that area. And then Channel Islands, wow, we've got some wind up there that's persisting and it's making things a pain in the neck. Uh, Aloha Spirit the other day had some white sea bass, had a bluefin yesterday, um, good rock fishing up there. We want that wind to get out of the picture. Incidentally, talking about the wind, Wednesday is the day when it all comes down and looks beautiful right through the weekend and then gets a little breezy Sunday evening it looks like. But if you are planning a trip from tomorrow on, you're yeah, your timing is really good. It looks really, really good to me. So hopefully that is going to be the plan for you. All right, uh, local fishing down there. We mentioned the Premier Half Day Boat out of San Diego. Got a bluefin tuna. They're picking at the bass down there, falling mostly back on rockfish right now. Occasional good bass bites, though, going on down there in the local San Diego area. Up there around Dana Wharf. Look out there. Going to be all over the Dorado here really, really soon. The SoCal out of Oceanside yesterday. The half day boat, SoCal, they had a bluefin tuna. So this stuff is everywhere. And I think that moon phase, once we get through it, we might see this local bite. I'm talking about LA Orange County based boats, half and three quarter day boats getting in on Dorado and yellowfin and bluefin. Maybe I'm getting a little carried away here, but I would be keeping a close eye on this by watching the morning briefing and checking out any shorts that we are putting up throughout the day. It's looking very, very good. Up we go, and there still remains some really good fishing for uh, occasional bass here in the LA Orange County area, but we've been falling a lot back on scoping and rockfish here recently. Same thing in the Santa Monica Bay and up there in the Channel Islands. Those guys have been catching a lot of rockfish. In the surf, man, I'll tell you, your surf fishing headquarters is big fish bait and tackle in the beautiful city of Seal Beach, California. Wonderful stuff going on at that store. You want your baits, they've got them all. They're your surf fishing headquarters, but they also have a lot of big game stuff right there. Big fish down there toward Oceanside. We see some good spot fin fishing. There's great Corvina fishing now along the beaches, and they're in that short water, like a foot or two, and you throw a sand crab out in front of them, and it's fun to catch those things. They are a blast. They fight hard. They're wily, discriminating feeders. They're a lot of fun. Some yellowfin croaker in here and some halibut still biting in the surf. We've seen some really good fishing, no question about that. All right, hey, we've got a raffle to support our efforts to send down items to Mexico. And man, I can't thank you enough for participating in the raffle. Some guy yesterday sent an extra $50 on his raffle ticket, and I called him and said, hey, you sent too much? He goes, man, it's yours. Dude, keep doing what you're doing. And all of the items, and we'll be doing a new one in Christmas, will be going down. Cost several thousand dollars to ship it. And all the running around we do, man, I can't thank you enough for your kindness and generosity in participating in our raffle. You want some information on that? I'll send it to you. You can participate by text. I'll photograph your ticket and send it right out to you. And we can't thank you enough for your help in this great venture. All right, my friends, I don't know what to tell you. We've got Albacore biting full speed out of Fort Bragg. The Freedom with a huge day on the Dorado. San Diego base boats are killing them. We have an October 20th trip, five days on the Independence that you should be on and a couple of spots on the Apollo departing September 7th and fishing until on the 8th, back in the 8th at 7 p.m. It's gonna be great and I can't wait to get down there and videotape you catching your fish. All right, my friends, have a great day, a great morning. It's beautiful here on Tuesday. I'll see you later on today. And uh, if I don't, I hope to see you really, really soon. Good morning, my friends. Take care.